What is up guys, RGT85 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Nintendo Switch's online service. Is it as bad as everyone has been making it out to be? Obviously, it's been a very controversial topic. A lot of people are upset with the lack of features, myself included, but now the day is here. The service has just gone live. I have signed up for my one year. One thing worth noting is you can use your gold coins to pay for the service. I had about $4 in gold coins laying around, so I got the service for like uh, 17 bucks for a year. So not all that bad. I've went ahead and downloaded the NES stuff, but basically you download the service, you get a system update 6.0, you download the service, it does a system update, it also does a controller update, and then you are given the online service. So just very briefly, we're gonna go over the system. I'm really curious about the NES stuff to be perfectly honest with you. But before we get into that, we're gonna show you some save data cloud backup. So basically those are all my many accounts that I use for different regions. So I'm gonna go ahead and back up my save data for Fortnite. We'll see how easy this is and see how this works. I haven't done this. Okay, so this software does not support. Okay, so that's that's good, good to know. Um, Fortnite, you can't. Freaking A. Uh, NBA 2K, can we back that up? Let's try to back that up and see what happens. If you're a big fine woman, won't you back that thing up? So we have some different options here. Automatic save data backup is automatic, so that's cool. You can back up the save data on your console as well. It looks like you can download your save data too, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and back up the save data and see how easy and pretty much how long this takes, honestly. 145 megs, so, you know, ooh, that's... Uh, that's kind of taking a while. I don't I don't feel like sitting here for for seven or eight minutes. So we're not okay three minutes. Maybe we could do one minute. All right. There we go. Now we're picking up speed folks and now we are in business. So you can see pretty easy. You just highlight the software. You press the plus button or the start button to choose your software and then you can down or back up your save data. So you know probably one of the better features. It does suck that not all games support it. Obviously Splatoon 2 doesn't support it because of online leaderboard stuff which I find to be absolutely mind blowing like just just support the game like nobody cares about leaderboards they care about being able to save their hundreds of hours of splatoon but as you can see bam so that was pretty quick you know that was easy enough we got the backup data for nba 2k19 now so that's good and you can see that it is backed up according to the interface here so that's that's cool let's um we'll take a look at one more game um Mario Odyssey, go ahead and back that up. Very important game, a game that I've put tons and tons of time into. Uh, let's see if this is a smaller, so this is a much smaller file size. This is only 19.2 megabytes, should be pretty instantaneous. Um, so boom, there we go. Definitely a small file size. I expect most Nintendo games to be a small file size when it comes to backup save data and bam, simple enough, you know, easy enough. We are in business, we've got that. We've got that backed up, but let's go ahead and check out what everyone wants to see, including myself, is the NES interface, how this is going to work, and all of that cool stuff. So let's get into this. Of course, the software can be played. Why? What, did I get it early? Did I get an early copy of this? Oh, I like, I like the little coin sound. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool. So you can see you have one player, two player, play online, and settings. Let's check out the... The settings here, you have 4x3, pixel perfect, and CRT filter, which is pretty much in line with the NES Classic. It also offered the same thing. Uh, we'll do one player just to start things off, and then we will check out um, We'll check out some online, because I'm sure some people will be playing some stuff online. So here are the games that you get on day one. Balloon Fight, Baseball, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, Ghosts and Goblins, Gradius, Ice Climber, Ice Hockey, The Original Mario Brothers, Pro Wrestling, River City Ransom, Soccer, Super Mario Brothers 1, Super Mario Brothers 3, Tecmo Bowl, Tennis, Legend of Zelda, and Yoshi. So, of course we're gonna go with Double Dragon because I'm a huge Double Dragon fan. Boots right up. Navigate in game menus. Okay, easy enough. Oh God, why would you punch her, Will? Those characters are named Will. Dun, 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 dun. I love the soundtrack of this game. I love this game. Like this, this I've told the story many times, but 
I remember I was at a, a buddy of mine's house. He was his sister was actually babysitting me. He was a bit older than me. We were in elementary school. We were playing NES games. And he was like, "Yo." You ever played Double Dragon? I was like, what is Double Dragon? <laughs> and then he showed me, and I was like, yo, this is sick. All right, so you can suspend the game as well. Uh, as far as controls are concerned, no no lag or anything, so that's good. We'll, we'll keep playing a little bit more just to make sure that that lag... Ooh, Linda! Linda, why would you do that, Linda? That's, that's very rude. ba ba na 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 so this obviously is probably the coolest feature to me um just to finally have some nes games on your system to finally be able to play nes games on your nintendo switch and there's a good variety of games you know they're going to be adding more we talked about that on the nintendo switch online everyone is mad about it video make sure you guys check out that video after that but at towards the end of the video i do uh mention basically what games will be coming for the rest of the year and things like that. That's that's just rude, Linda. Give me that whip. I will say I am curious about picking up the NES controllers. I wish they just sold them in packages of one, though. I don't, I don't need two. All right, the glitch is still there. That's good. All right. So how do we get back to the main menu? All right, easy enough. You can create a save state. You can load your save state as well. You can reset the game or go back to game selection. So let's see if anyone is playing anything online right now. Join a friend, search again. Can I only play with random? Can I only play with friends? Oh, wow. It looks like you can only play with friends. What's he playing? Alan is a Patreon of mine. Let's see what game he is playing and jump in. I have joined his game. So that is interesting that you can't just play with random people. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like, I, I don't know what, what the point of that is, but I guess... Oh, that's that's kind of weird. Why can't you play with random people? That's not good. That's not good at all because I was expecting to play like Tecmo Bowl and stuff with random people and ice hockey. That is nice that you can just hop in and out though. I'm just applauding. Can he hold it? Like what? I don't understand. I, I don't know. All right, let's uh, let's hop out of this. And let's see here. So it looks like nobody is playing now. No passcode. Anyone can join me. Let's just, I don't know, let's just throw on some Tech Mobile and see if we can get someone to join our game. And then um, we can play a little bit with them. But see, do I have to do two player mode in order for them to play with me? I wonder what team I'm going to be. Los Angeles, Bo Jackson. Ah, okay. Let's come to play. The contr We'll control the menu. Okay. So, can I go back? Let me reset the game. Okay, so you can reset the game with, with, with my friend in it. So, now we can play two-player. Okay, that's that's nice. That's nice. Good feature, Nintendo. Very good feature here. I feel bad because Alan's probably like, "All right, we're gonna play a whole game. We're not gonna play a whole game, Alan. It's just it's just for the video, so we can showcase the features." God, I love Tech Mobile. All right, let's see how smart Alan is. Because if you play as Los Angeles, you just run the ball. Oh, Alan's smart. Alan is smart. But is he smart enough to know that I will do the same play again? Nope. Uh, what? All right, we're going to have to pass the ball here now. This isn't good. Bo doesn't like passes. Put, 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 
Mmm, there's a bit of lag. And I don't know if that is because of our connection or if that is because of the game, but I definitely just noticed a bit of lag right there um, when trying to hike the ball. Seems okay now. But I did, I did notice a bit of lag. All right, it seems like it's cleared up. Oh, he's got Walter Payton. I forgot about Walter Payton. All right, well, we're just gonna run one more play and then we will bounce out of this game. I basically just wanted to show you guys the online features so you could sort of get a glimpse as to what you are exactly paying for. He scored anyways. I'm gonna look like such a, a cheater. I'm gonna have to send him a message. But yes, so this is Tech Mobile. This is the Nintendo Switch's online service. What do I think about it? It needs work. Um, you know, the NES stuff is cool. The cloud save stuff is cool. It's cheap enough, but I want to see them add more. Hopefully they will continue to add more to the Nintendo Switch's online service. I think the groundwork is okay. The NES stuff is pretty cool. The ability to, you know, back out of a game so that you can, um, you know, have someone join you. That's pretty cool as well. Um, for the most part, you know, there's no input lag or anything. Feels pretty smooth. Our connection must have gotten better. Let's see if I could just uh, break off like one run here, though. What the hell? One more. Why does it feel like it's a little bit laggy when I'm on offense? Hike it! I, be, I believe Alan is messing with his router. All right, folks. So that is the NES side of the system. You can get details on the games as well. So that's that's pretty cool. But yeah, all in all, it's not terrible. It's not as bad. You know, it's not the worst thing ever, but it definitely has room for improvement. Let me know in the comments section down below what you think of Nintendo Switch's online service. Thank you for checking out this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. I'm also doing a Capcom beat em up bundle giveaway right now. So make sure you enter to win that. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.